Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Richard and welcome back to the Stock Market Outlook video sponsored by MarketSmith. As always, we're going to run through the major indexes, leading stocks, and I'll give my overall take on the health and breadth of the market. If you do enjoy my analysis at any time, please go ahead and just take a few seconds and leave me a like down below and subscribe if you're new and want to see more videos just like this one every single week. Uh, with that said, let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. Uh, first things first, this isn't really leading as of this moment. We'll get into the S&P 500 in just a second, uh, but we're back below a declining 21 EMA. We're still above a rising 50 SMA, but longer term, uh, big picture, we're below declining 200 SMA, and we're just kind of consolidating within this range pretty much. Uh, we haven't really lost the 11,000 level, uh, but we're near the bottom of that spot. And we're just kind of back and, and very choppy as of this moment. I mean, I clear the drawing for just a second. Uh, this day right here is pretty significant. You can see that the prior day we had um, basically open lower, close strong. And then this day right here, we gapped down, initially pushed up, but then we're rejected into the end of the day. And that's where kind of short term things kind of changed. And a lot of leaders uh, lost a lot of progress as well. Uh, many rallied, you know, late in the week and then pulled back again here on this Friday. And let's go over to a 60 minute time frame. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the rally. And then we kind of break down and just trend lower starting from this point, have an initial push up here. And then on Friday have a pretty poor close. And we're just back within the bottom of this trading range. So as of this moment, uh, things have pulled back. A lot of things are uh, moving back towards moving averages. And we'll have to see kind of where ranges form and whether the leaders can hold up well and be supported and basically start some new moves up. So that is the NASDAQ composite. Let's go back to a daily chart and move on to the S&P 500. Uh, so as of last week, I did mention that we're right at kind of a key level at 200 SMA, which is still declining. And like I said, here we had a strong close after that initial gap down. And then on this day, we had that gap down, push higher, and then we're rejected from that declining 200 SMA. And now we're back below the declining 21 EMA with a poor close on Friday, finishing below Thursday's low. Going to the 60 minute time frame, you can see pretty much the same thing that we had on the NASDAQ breakdown here, and then now a negative action on this Friday, and we're just right at the bottom of this trading range. So we'll have to see what happens and whether we can firm up here, form a range, break out to the upside. Looking at the Russell 2000 index, this also failed at its 200 SMA, and you can see that we're just a hair above the 50 SMA, which is rising but we're back below a declining 21 EMA. Looking at the IWO, which is kind of the gross stocks within here, uh, you can see very similar. We declined uh, below that 200 SMA, and now we're even more negative uh, below the 50 SMA once again. So we're below all the key moving averages on this index. Looking at the FDY, this also was rejected very negatively uh, last week, and we're below all the key moving averages, still within a stage for decline. And looking at ARC, you can see a very similar picture. Uh, below all the key moving averages and very negative action uh, recently as well breaking down on this day so in terms of the indexes pretty much we're in a consolidation phase very choppy uh, tough to trade recently in this in this past week or so um, and many of the leaders as we'll get into later in the video uh, pulled back pretty hard and now are trying to form uh, another range and uh, we'll see if they get supported at those key moving averages and prior breakout points as well as pivots. So that's a quick run through of the market indexes. And now let's move on to the mega caps. So starting with Amazon, you can see we're below all the key moving averages, below declining 21, 50, and 200 SMA. We remain within a stage for a decline. Tesla as well, below all the key moving averages, rejected near that 21 EMA. Very negative action on this Monday, the 5th. And we tried to rally into the end of the week and we actually had a nice reversal on this day, uh, but we're still kind of trying to form at least a short-term bottom here. And we are forming a higher low as of this moment. Um, but, you know, we're below all the key moving averages. So longer term context, a pretty negative chart. Uh, bring up Apple. You can see we're below all the key moving averages. Rejected at the 50 and 21 EMA confluence here and below a declining 200 SMA. Uh, next up, we've got Meta. Looking at this chart, you can see we lost the 50 SMA um, and kind of this progress here on this Monday. And we're just kind of back within this chop training range. Um, and we remain below a declining 200 SMA and within a stage four decline. Um, also bring up Google, let's take a look at this chart, uh, very negative action, just selling off hard pretty much all week and back below all the moving averages after initial promising move here on this day. So a lot of stocks have kind of re retraced this move completely, uh, which definitely is a negative in the short term. Bring up some chip names. These have held up better than most. Um, NVIDIA is right as 200 SMA. You can see it was rejected today, 
So we'll have to see whether it kind of can build within this area and pop through or similar to the indexes this week, kind of fall back below the 21 EMA after being rejected from this key area. We've also got a lot of confluence of potential resistance around the 192 to 196 area. Uh, so that is also an area of interest. AMD as well, uh, negative action here, pulling back a little bit harder. So Nvidia is holding up better. Um, and on this stock, we're below the 21 EMA, still above that 50 SMA, and we remain below a longer term 200 day moving average, which is in a decline. So in terms of the mega caps, not a great look, uh, but it's also important to look at the individual stocks themselves, the leaders, and let's run through a few right now. Looking at GFS, which is also semi-related, but a little bit more on the small cap side, pulled back into kind of this pivot area and held and had a decent rally the last three days of this week. We remain above the 21 EMA, although it looks like it's declining here. Uh, this is still holding up pretty well. Uh, so we'll have to see whether it maybe form out of base here and can push through the 68 level. Uh, but so far, not broken as of this moment. And we'll see whether kind of as the 50 SMA kind of catches up to price, that starts another push higher. Oh, and as well, just kind of forming out of range, very choppy in this area, but going over to a weekly, you can see it was a three weeks tight. Now we've broken a little bit to the downside, uh, but we're potentially getting supported at that 10 week moving average. Uh, so we'll just have to kind of see what happens. Um, AHR, bring up that chart. You see pull back to its 10 week and was supported, bounced nicely. This is great action here. And going over to a daily chart, this translates to basically a nice bounce, but negative action here and maybe the start of a potential basing period, which I would welcome, um, and then potentially a nice consolidation pivot uh, would provide a nice entry point, let the 50 SMA on the daily chart kind of catch up to price, and we've got a new kind of base pivot right up here above 25. So that is AHR. Moving on to a few more names, we've got FSLR in the solar space, pulled back pretty dramatically, slicing through that 21 EMA, and you definitely want to be cognizant of you know this important level as well as even this low of this day, because on this day, you know, we're breaking out on volume, things are looking great, and the expectation is we kind of rally higher, uh, but instead we kind of couldn't push higher and broke down from that point and going to a 60 minute chart. You can see that we kind of broke these important lows and very volatile here, and now we're just in a short term downtrend, maybe trying to find support into the end of the day, but not a great look in the short term, and we'll have to see whether it's supported at its 50 SMA. And on the weekly chart, you can see that the 10 week line is around 145. So I'd love to see it form out of base here and then set up for another potential move higher. Let that longer term moving average kind of catch up a little bit and you know form out of base here and then push higher from here, setting up a potential entry right here or through the base pivot. So, so that's FSLR, kind of the leader within the solar space. Other names also um, pulled back. You can see EMPH um, flirting with that pivot still, can't quite break out and hold. Um, Ari also bringing up that chart, just consolidating, still not broken inside week, which is pretty good. And we'll have to see whether it can push through this level once the overall market cooperates. Once again, you can see we're curling down here on the general indexes. So overall, that's a quick run through of the market indexes, May caps, as well as a few key names. Uh, basically, for the most part, we pull back, consolidated, and we'll have to see where ranges form and whether we can continue higher after finding support near those moving averages. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below on this market. I'd love to hear them. And if you did enjoy this, please go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.